so uh, he tries to explain how this knowledge is happening in these traffic like situations so in traffic domains uh, so there can be temporal uh, landmarks that means a uh, peak covers this or peak covers weekend traffic like that uh, offers that uh, occurs in the uh, non-linearity that means the dispersion of the time series data and also the effect of locations like uh, there can be uh, a high traffic in uh, this uh, the places like schools hospitals uh, than other suburb areas and also there can be scheduled events like road constructions uh, baseball games music con concerts like that also affects uh, the slowdown or the uh, speed of vehicles and there can be unexpected events like accidents heavy runs fog that affects the linearity and then there can be random variations like stochastic events like uh, people may think of going to downtown for downtown for no reason like a mere coincide situations can happen so this figure includes how uh, a, a, a picture of uh, linear dynamical systems or LDS, which uh, he has tries to model the nonlinear time time series. Uh, so this LDS is latent space based modeling technique. So then uh, he tries to propose algorithm to exp explain the uh, this time series dynamics in sensors, utilizing the events extracted from the short text messages that are reported by people. And then, uh, so, uh, so we have. I have described to you how the how we have uh, extracted events and understand events. So uh, he has used three steps to deal with these two uh, tasks. The first one, uh, he firstly he extracts events from uh, textual tweets, and then secondly he builds statistical models of normalcy. That means. Uh, a normalcy model that includes how a normal situation would happen and then thereby he developed uh, anomaly models uh, from these uh, numerical sensor data streams so anomaly models means uh, think uh, to capture some anomalies anomaly situations like a traffic slowdown situation is uh, capturing here and then uh, he tries to the in third step he uh, tries to correlate the multimodal streams using spatial temporal information in order to annotate the anomalies in sensor time series with textual events. That means tagging anomalies using a linear dynamic system. So this in figure five, uh, it describes how the events are annotated and the events are extracted. So uh, as shown, it includes two steps. So for the event annotation, he used uh, file event data, and then uh, he used some hybrid NER techniques uh, for the uh, city event annotation. And then uh, these annotated data are, are going towards the uh, extraction component, which he used a geohashing technique and event aggregation. And then he has used some uh, impact assessment techniques. Then uh, all these event extract extraction component results a, a queen tuple that includes uh, the type, location, start time, end time, and impact of these individual events. And then, uh, how did the impact being calculated? Uh, this queen tuple, other things I understand. Uh, impact is a number or what? It's, the, it's a class class variable. It's a set. It's uh, a real number. What it is? I you don't know. Anyway, uh, go on, go on. Just, just a question. Yeah. Uh, so in step three, he uh, tries to explain these uh, anomalies. That means uh, tagging anomalies. He so he used the knowledge of the location and time in this textual and sensor data. Yeah, so uh, this figure includes the second step, uh, which is included here. That means building normalcy models and anomaly models. 
So this was done using a linear dynamic system. So what he has done is uh, he has collected data uh, from uh, for each of the road links uh, for separate uh, day of week and hour of day. And then, uh, then secondly, he has found the, uh, uh, the typical dynamics by computing the mean and also uh, choosing the middles for each hour of day and day of week. Uh, so, and then uh, thirdly, he has used uh, LDS parameters for the medoids for each of the day and uh, has produced some uh, models. That means he has produced uh, 168 models for that means 24 hours for seven days uh, in order to uh, create the normalcy model. And then uh, this is the uh, anomaly model that he has created. Uh, so to do that, uh, then he has used that uh, normalcy model that has been uh, created using LDS and then uh, have computed log likelihood and then uh, uh, through a serious process, uh, several process, then he had tagged the anomalies uh, that are different from these uh, normalcy models and then uh, have uh, detected the anomalies uh, based on these uh, individual models. And uh, the right side, it includes the evaluation part uh, he has uh, done uh, uh, for the multimodal data integration part. So uh, here, this uh, it shows the uh, two major data sources uh, like uh, 511.organization uh, events and Twitter events. So there, the red plot includes the uh, unexplained events. That means the anomaly anomaly events, and then the a pink one represents the normal event. So as you can see, the Twitter data, they have more anomalies than file event data. So the reason is that uh, people, uh, when an uh, incident happens, uh, people uh, start reporting events, uh, the reporting posts in posts and like uh, photos, adding photos in uh, Twitter uh, as soon as the event occurs that means if there is a, a delay in the road or uh, slow down in the vehicles or traffic then people start reporting as soon as that event or incident happens <clears throat> it's not clear to me so are you saying twitter is not a right proxy for anomaly and it's showing a different feature than the actual is i uh, know uh, it's not that but uh, what i understood is that uh, uh, Twitter in Twitter, uh, people start reporting uh, events as soon as the, yeah, it happens. It happens. Yeah, instant reaction. Yeah, uh, but uh, there might not be such kind of events. That means accidents. So, so Twitter or, yeah. has uh, reported the higher number of uh, things than actual data. Has. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I understood that like that. Uh, and then uh, the third main aim he tries to achieve is uh, recommending best possible actions. So he used a Markov decision processes, which is another uh, probabilistic graphical model based on reinforcement learning techniques uh, so for a sequential decision making in uh, his task. Uh, so using the Markov decision processes, he tries to uh, recommend the next best, uh, next, uh, best action for the user. Uh, so uh, one of the interesting uh, point in his research is he tries to focus on the uncertainty of uh, cyber physical systems. Uh, so he tries to uh, identify two forms of uncertainty as stochasticity in the real world and observational uncertainty that can be of course by three major uh, issues uh, as incompleteness, heterogeneity, and uh, dynamism in data. Uh, so he says that incompleteness can be occurred due to the partial observation from the real world. That means uh, from these events that we collected from file one and Twitter, they may not be complete. Uh, so the data might not be complete uh, to represent and resemble the uh, 
uh, real world situation. So this incompleteness can be incompleteness can uh, affect the uncertainty of a, a physical cyber social system, and then the uncertainty can be happen uh, due to in, in inherent randomness involved in the uh, sensing processes. Like uh, there can be noise in uh, case of the data collection equipments, like and also the machine sensors, and there can be bias in the sensors used. And then uh, the third leap, uh, dynamism can also affect this uncertainty. That means uh, dynamism can be occurred from the ever-changing and non-deterministic conditions in the physical world. Uh, so in this uh, figure, it shows uh, that the top part of this figure depicts the structure extracted from traffic observations, like uh, day of week and time of day, uh, uh, can cause to an event, and then uh, there can be travel time, uh, volume, speed, and scheduled events. And then the bottom uh, part it includes the enriched structure uh, that includes information from uh, declarative knowledge. So as you can see, we can see that bad weather also uh, affect the delay of the uh, road and the. That means the delay of the, the slowdown of the traffic. So uh, in his uh, uh, dissertation, he has tried to uh, figure out these kind of situations in order to complete the uh, overall picture of this situation. That means finding the reasons that uh, which can't be uh, seen from the mere textual and sensor data. Uh, so this is an overall picture of what he has achieved in his PhD uh, that includes all the publications and uh, the uh, publications that he has done in various parts of his thesis, like uh, the main uh, the main three targets is the PCS event extraction, event understanding, and action recommendation and how he has uh, modeled the problem and what steps he has taken and what technologies he used and the publications he has done. Uh, so uh, this all includes the, uh, how he have uh, evaluated his uh, results using the data sticks and then structure related things. So uh, they, he have used the 511 and Twitter data. Uh, so uh, he has used one six. Uh, 38 incident reports and uh, 1.4 billion speed and travel time observations, and then uh, 39,200 like Twitter data used uh, that are extracted from 20 million tweets. And then uh, scale he has a few scalable implementation using uh, Apache Spark. And that's it. So his uh, most cited paper was published in 2015 extracting city uh, traffic events from social streams and second most cited was in 2016 understanding city traffic dynamics using center sensor and textual observations and he has recently uh, uh, got a patent for the paper like uh, extracting events and accessing the answer from transportation networks This is the pattern? Uh, no, this one. 2021. 2021. With uh, Dr. B. Plow. So what is the pattern? Yeah, what's this one? That's yeah. Does it work in IBM now? Oh, no, uh, Bosch. Uh, how, how does this happen? <laughs>
सचिन सचिन जोशी Yeah, so, yeah. so how do you, um, 